Well, prison farms are coming back to Canada, and our government has made its decision. Prison dairy operations at Joyceville Institution in Kingston. 1,500 goats, 60 cows, milk being sold to the Feha International Infant Formula Factory where it will be processed into powder and shipped to China as premium baby food. Our government promised to deliver the best possible model for our prison farms. This is not it. For two years, Evolve Our Prison Farms has advocated a model of innovative plant-based agriculture, promoting dietary, health, and environmental responsibility, and offering prisoner animal therapy through sanctuary. Instead, prisoners will be forcibly inseminating goats and cows, removing their kids and calves, sending the boys off to slaughter, and sending their mothers and sisters to slaughter at a young age as their milk productivity declines after multiple pregnancies. Our government is calling this emphasizing rehabilitation through animal therapy. This is a lie. This is not what rehabilitation looks like. This is not animal therapy. This is not what prisoners want. This is not what Canadians want. This is not how we do democracy. This is not how a government prioritizes climate change solutions. This is not how a correctional system nurtures healthy hearts and healthy minds. This is not how we build a better society. Prison farms are about rehabilitation. So what does rehabilitation look like? It's simple. Learn to love yourself and learn to love others. This cannot be taught through exploitation and slaughter. Sanctuary teaches this. Compassion, bonding, trust, hard work, responsibility, life skills, and using strength to protect, not to harm. This is what rehabilitation looks like. Our future on this planet is precarious. Prime Minister Trudeau himself has affirmed that we can't afford to ignore the problems of climate change. We have to prioritize solutions. Our prison farms are an opportunity to forge our better future on every level. Modeling what's possible. Prisoners embrace the idea of leading the way to that better future. And yet, our government has erased our voices. Actively, passively, intentionally, unintentionally. Our two-year effort has been ignored. Our many open letters have been ignored. Our 13,000 signature petition was ignored. Our second petition was presented in the House of Commons by Kingston MP Mark Gerritsen, who expressed his opposition to it. And that petition has also been ignored against parliamentary procedures. Our expert testimonies have been ignored. Our survey of prisoners at Joyceville Institution was ignored. Our media releases are being ignored. And the fact remains that Canadian prisoners will be exploiting animals to produce baby food for China. Who will ask the critical questions? Evolve Our Prison Farms is launching a third petition, and this one is being sponsored and fully supported by Green Party leader Elizabeth May. We need all of Canada to care about this. If you care about prisoner justice, animal justice, environmental justice, democratic justice, and even consumer justice for Chinese mothers who deserve to know where their baby's food is coming from, then please sign and share our petition. Like and share our Facebook page. Write to Minister Goodale and Prime Minister Trudeau and tell them enough. It is time to reverse the step backward. It's time to take a step forward. It's time to evolve our prison farm.